Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage. Today we're gonna to do a hot rodding 101 video on the difference between Model A and 32 Ford, a spotter's guide, if you will, uh, because it is, uh, is something that's easily missed or people confuse when they see the cars when they're separately apart. Uh, it's very easy to confuse a Model A versus a 32. And today we're gonna to show you some very quick, easy things you can use to identify if you're just looking at a carcass in a field or you're looking at parts or whatever, uh, help you identify the differences and how you can tell for sure, do you have a 32 Ford or a Model A? So let's get started. All right, so let's just give you a quick background and some basic information between the 32 Ford and the Model A. Uh, Model A was obviously produced for a number of years from 1928 to 1931 and a 32 Ford or the B model or type 18, whatever you wanna call uh, that, was a one year only car. So even though it is probably the most, one of the most iconic old cars or Fords in particular, it was only actually a one year model car. And they took a lot of the design and some of the ideas and shapes of a Model A and put it into the 32. So that's why they're so easy to uh, mix up. Now Model A's from 1928 to 1929, even though it was the same body style or same type of car, the body is actually quite a bit different. They look um, very much different when you put a 2829 versus a 3031 next to each other. So a lot of what we're gonna be showing you today is like I have a 3031 Model A Coupe and a 32 Ford because those are the two that are uh, very similar and oftentimes are uh, misidentified. So uh, with the 32 Ford coming out in 1932, it was actually, uh, basically it was a failure. It sold very poorly. There was a ton of problems because they tried to do a lot of new things in a short period of time, including the flathead V8, the iconic flathead V8 came out in the 32 Ford. There was tons of problems with the car. There's even some recalls on uh, or fixes in the early days of the 32 Ford that actually made it not sell well. So it's kind of ironic that it is one of the most popular, especially with hot rods, it's one of the most popular cars uh, that you will see. Now, because these cars are oftentimes turned into hot rods, a lot of the parts are changed between the two of them. So um, that's why there's a lot of, a lot of times it's hard to tell them apart. But the biggest thing with the redesign with the 32 Ford, the body was changed. It's entirely its own body. There's really nothing that interchanges directly between the two of them. Everything was new, the dash, the, the body, the steering column, everything was all different and new. The frame was totally different on these cars. It's a beefier frame. They made a, lo a longer wheelbase for the 32 Ford. Uh, they changed the cross members and a lot of that stuff changed. So even though they do kind of interchange and you see 32 frames used on Model A's uh, quite commonly, uh, that doesn't mean that they are the same by any means. Uh, shape or form. All right, so I'll remind you guys we're, we're, we're looking at two. All I have, unfortunately, is uh, not unfortunately, fortunately, all I have is hot rods. So uh, between the 32 Ford and the Model A we have here, you're going to see some parts that I've interchanged. So there is going to have to be some shots that Mike's going to have to add of uh, lots of internet photos. Yeah, there's going to be some internet photos. So, first thing, probably the most sought after thing parts wise for a 32 Ford is the grill and grill shell. Totally changed. So Model A grills, uh, especially on a 3031, has a, unless it was a commercial or a truck, basically had a stainless or chrome grill shell that had the Ford emblem in the center, and then actually the radiator itself was part of the look of the grill shell. So with 32 Ford, they went to a totally different- uh, use, This one has the, it's more stock. Okay, this one's more stock on my Model A. So you're gonna confuse that. So you can see that the grill shell was, uh, it was made, it's actually made to be body color. These were oftentimes painted body color, had a removable grill insert with bars in the center, and it has a stylized um, bull nose or grill trim piece here that you can actually see the, the radiator cap is you know, styled into all of that. Uh, the radiator was specific to 32 Ford because they came out with the V8, there was a V8 and a 32 radiator, but the grill shell is probably the easiest thing if you see the two cars sitting next to each other and stock form, not hot rods, uh, you will see the grill shells are instantly totally different uh, from the front. The 32 is a little more sleek, I think, with the roundness of it and then being painted body color, that definitely uh, adds a little bit to it. 
When you come to the hoods, both of these cars still have hoods on them, but the hoods on a 32 Ford is a little bit bigger, has more louvers, but again, when you look at them quickly, uh, a Model A 3031 um, hood is gonna look very similar. But a 3031 has kind of like a bead around the louvers that uh, traditional 32 Ford uh, hoods do not have. So that's a quick way to look if you're, if you're looking between the two of them. The other thing, if you're hunting for parts, that is just a kind of, I, I feel like Ford had to do it this way on purpose. 32 Ford, the length of the hood in the center, well, I should say on that, is, <laughs> well, not even that, because it's, it's not stuck. But a 32 Ford, from here to here, the length of the hood itself is uh, 32 inches long. So if you take a measure, we have the green roadster over there, it's all stock. If you take that, that hood there and you measure it, it's gonna be 32 inches. 3031, I believe it is 30 inches, Correct. Michael, remember. And then 28, 29 is 28 Eight. inches. So they had to do that on purpose, they had to, because there's a lot of weird stuff like that that it's, you know. So if you're looking at two hoods, a 3031 Model A hood and a 32 hood, and you're not quite sure, you just take a tape measure, go across the center, and that's gonna tell you right away, because really, unless it was like an aftermarket uh, hood that somebody had made, it's going to be a 32 hood or Model A, it's gonna tell you right away with them. So the hoods themselves, very, very similar. They still have the side latches, side pulls, finger pulls to open the, the, the hoods up. Um, the shape of them is pretty much totally different. Uh, so you can't just take a Model A hood or a 32 hood and just drop it right on your body. The shape back in here is a little bit different. So um, in the engine bay, the biggest way you can tell with a 3031 if you're looking at is you see it on the firewall in a Model A 3031. The firewall is all one big piece versus a 2829, which has a split in it, and the gas tank is part of the, you know, it becomes part of the firewall. So on the 3031, you have this kind of, the firewall bulges out, and the B pattern is totally different than a 32. Um, on this car, <laughs> is it like that? We should share this car. Oh yeah, why don't we walk over here real quick. I'll walk over to, here to the other 32. We're showing like we have a car that's extremely. It's not a coupe though, so we can't use it. Yeah, There's it's so not many good. differences. There's a little differences. So, so the firewall is actually set back a little bit on a 32 Ford, and uh, the angle, you know, down in here, it has this angle that comes out. It has a totally different bead pattern on it, but you can instantly see that, that um, is different shape. The other thing you're going to see is that a 32 Ford um, firewall is easily removable, easily. It's just basically bolts or screws to take it out, where the firewall in a Model A is a little more difficult because of, a little more, a little harder to take out. You could still remove it, not nearly as common. You're gonna see 32 firewalls probably 50 to one at swap meets and places because people generally on a Model A, they don't take them out. Uh, occasionally you'll see them flipped around, but firewalls are totally different. They don't interchange without a lot of work. So my Model A Roadster downstairs, I put a 32 uh, firewall in a Model A Roadster and it was a lot of work. I had to cut the outer band off and just every, the shape of the cow, totally different. 32 Ford's a bigger car overall. So obviously that area where it fits in um, is totally different. So that's a quick way you can tell. I mean, if you're looking at two bodies next to each other, if the firewall's in it, look at the firewall, that's gonna tell you right away. The other thing is, if you notice here on the edge of the cow, on this 32, there's, it's just body color. We come over to the Model A here, and 3031's going to pretty much always have this cow band that Moon's pointing at right now. And uh, this cow band uh, is a stainless piece that actually bolts in, it has two uh, long, uh, threaded sections at the bottom that actually go into the side of the body. You tighten them down and it pulls it in nice and tight and then your grill or uh, your hood is going to go right against that. So again, you start looking at this stuff right away, you know, that band, they never got any kind of chrome trim band on a 32. So that's an easy way to tell them apart. And then of course, we have, this is the last of putting the gas into your lap. So 32 Ford was the First year, they put the gas tank in the back of the car. So on a stock uh, 32 Ford, they put a gas tank that was actually uh, in the back underneath the trunk kind of, but it was stylized into the body. So it's actually part of the styling of the car. Where a Model A is going to still have the gas cap in the top of the cow here. 
Uh, again, it gets a little muddy because if you see a lot of hot rods, people filled the cow vent on a, on a 32, which this obviously doesn't have. And a lot of people filled when they hot rod of these, they take the gas tank out and they would fill this. So sometimes it gets a little difficult. A lot of times, like I said, it, it's really easy to tell right in this firewall area because this cow band here uh, is very, very easy to identify and it's going to have uh, a lot different of a firewall. So if you look at those things, usually you can tell very quickly what it is. Now, when you look at the frame on a 32 Ford, it's one of the most beautiful frames, chassis. Uh, most people wouldn't think of a chassis being beautiful, but 32 Ford, this car's channel, we'll have to just drop some shots into the other car. 32 Ford, actually, they made the style line in the chassis is part of the styling of the, of the body and, and the overall look of the car. So the running boards, the fenders, all that stuff kind of have the same swoop as that stamping inside of the frame. Because of that, that's one of the reasons that uh, on top of it being a larger frame, a stronger frame, and also you can bolt a V8 in it, which is great. Uh, it is a better looking frame overall, just the style of it and the way it pinches and swoops. Uh, it's just a sexier frame and that's why you start seeing them get interchanged. And just about anything you can think of has been put on 32 rails. You see Model Ts, you see cars of other brands that, have, that were hot rods that were put on them. Um, you've even seen later cars. I've seen 34s and stuff where they've used rails from a 32 and, and built up the frame. So beautiful frame. That's something if you're looking, uh, you can see that right away. Again, I mentioned the wheelbase has been stretched. The 32 Ford is gonna have a spring behind design. So the Model A was the last year of having the rear spring directly over, um, the, uh, over the rear axle. So 32 Fords tend to ride quite a bit different. If you get in a stock Model A Roadster and a stock 32 Ford Roadster, it's kind of incredible how much better a 32 Ford rides. So they really did a lot of like engineering um, and drivability stuff. They really thought that out on those cars. So they are superior as far as those things go. Um, the front axle is when we're talking suspension, 32 Ford has a very iconic, most of them have a iconic, what they call a 32 heavy axle. So if you look, this is a stock, stock 32 Ford axle. So right in this area here, it's very thick in the I-beam section. That's where it got the heavy name from. So a Model A is gonna have a very thin, almost straight across axle, where a 32 almost looks like it's been dropped from the factory. So that is a quick way, you can, if you see that, you can identify a 32 Ford axle. Again, everything is special to 32, just about. So all those little pieces, that's why they're so sought after. And they've been used on every single car. So a 32 Heavy has been one of the most sought after uh, early Ford axles of all time because better looking, it's stronger, it has a little bit of a drop over Model A. It does actually essentially bolt into a Model A. Um, the spring and, and some of the pieces on it will kind of interchange with just swapping around some parts. So uh, you do see them getting used on Model A's, especially on hot rods. All right, so now we're gonna discuss, we're, we're trying to compare as close as we can apples to apples. So we have two coupes of the respective body styles of years that we're, that we're um, trying to compare here. And this is a 3031 Model A coupe, 32 Ford coupe. This is a five window coupe in 32. I want to, I want to clear this up. Oh boy, this is... This is, a, this is a much debated thing and I'm going to weigh in on my opinion. This is a Model A coupe. It is not a five window coupe. It's just a Model A coupe because all they ever made was a five window coupe. You don't need to tell us that it's a five window coupe because you have a Model A. It's just a coupe. Now, when they got the 32 Ford, they offered more body styles. So there is a, now a three window coupe, which are basically counting the windows as they go around. So you're gonna count the windows in the back there and you get your five window or your three window. Pretty easy to identify, but you don't need to tell us. It, it's just a coupe, that's all it is. So we're gonna clear that up. So be, getting into all of that, we're comparing two coupes of the five window variety but you don't need to tell me that you have a five window Model A coupe. I already know that. <laughs> All right, so after that rant, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about the uh, roof area and the windshield frame and some of these differences here. When you start looking at these things up close, very easy to tell the difference. So Model A coupe, uh, or Model A's in general, uh, that was the last year of basically getting, I should say that, on the passenger cars. Uh, was the last year of getting a visor. Now, 32 Ford, I believe the early ones had a visor on pickups, but we're not getting, coupes to coupes, remember that. You can, you can argue in the comments. 
But basically you can see there's a visor in here. The pillar is very much straight up and down. Where a 32 Ford, they started to angle the pillar just a little bit. And when you get into the 33 Fords and all that, much more style and stylized. So, but right here in this area, very, very much different. You have this bead that's actually stamped into the, uh, into the eyebrow area with says a visor. And most importantly, these two cars, uh, the roof construction was a bit different. Uh, the Model A uh, Coupe is going to have a lot more wood in them. And also they basically use tack nails to attach the roof to uh, the wood that's inside and they would have used like filler strips. So they were made out of multiple pieces. Whereas a 32 Ford roof, they kind of like, they stamped the roof section minus the center opening, which was fabric still. Uh, and then they would weld or, and lead that into the pillars. So the roof shape, uh, while they both have gutters and they're sort of similar back in here, it's a one piece constru construction in here. It's all smooth. Uh, so you're going to, there is leaded joints that are hidden, but like the finished look of the car is going to be more of a smooth look in here. You're not gonna have a seam and a seam that's visible with like a filler strip. So that's another way you can tell very quickly. Windshield frames. 32 Ford windshield frame is a lot more swoopy. I'm using that word. I know it's not really a word, but it's swoopy. Uh, when you look at the Model A windshield frame, it is very, especially at the top, very straight up and down because of the pillars, square. And 32 Ford, it's more rounded. Windshield frames on the sedans and five window coupes are all basic, are all the same. Three window coupe is even more, a little more swoopy and is special to a three window coupe. But when you look at the windshield frames, they're definitely uh, very different. These um, Model A's never got um, chrome windshield frames from the factory. I believe the Deluxes might have got that, I think. Yeah, uh, Deluxes and then standards were body color. Yeah, so there is a little bit of confusion with that. So the chrome windshield frame you will see more commonly in 32 because it was, you know, kind of an option. Um, and a lot more people were chroming these so to speak, than a Model A. But the height of the windshield frame, so I'm gonna remind you, these are both, uh, even though they're both hot rods, they're both styled very similarly. So they're both um, channeled on chopped cars. So both of these cars have their stock roof height. And you can see that this car, the, the, the windshield frame just looks big, even with the visor, just looks bigger. You know, I've never actually measured the, the door opening, but I'm sure that the door openings are a bit bigger on a Model A. It just looks heavier at the top of the car. So with these, they started to just, again, with the styling, they got the roof just a little bit lower and things a little more round, so it's looking a little better. But again, you can look in this, this area, just in here, you can quickly tell a Model A versus a 32. And as they started um, getting more advanced with uh, production processes, they were able to stamp bigger, larger parts out of one piece, um, use less wood, and things like that. So the 32 still does have wood that's up in the visor and across the, um, across over the doors and everything like that, but it is not, it's more of a structural for rigidity. It's not having the actual body panels like tack nailed to it. These are actually welded into a metal structure and are using the wood to kind of fill up those areas and help with the rigidity of the car. All right, so looking at the door area um, and body lines and, and the side of the car, Model A versus uh, 32 Ford. So when we're talking the coupes, the five window coupe, um, the five window coupe and the Model A coupe, the Model A coupe you can see actually has three hinges where the five window coupe on a 32 Ford actually has two hinges. Now again, it gets confusing when you get into like a three window coupe, it has three hinges, door is much, much larger, body is a lot different on them. Uh, so, but when you compare these quickly right away, you can see how square everything is on a Model A. And then you go to a 32, the, you know, the top of the door here is all rounded and sexy, and this is very squared off. I never noticed the gutters. Yeah. Or like straight across or this one, a little swoopy. Yeah, a little swoopiness there. So they, they kind of match the styling of the vehicle or the shape of the door. So the 32 are very much, they just started getting more stylized in the Art Deco, you know, where everything's kind of flows and, and lines are, you know, swoopy. So uh, with that, the, it still has a rain gutter on it, which so again, people can confuse. But if you just look at the doors, you can see they're different. The body lines on these, sort of similar, uh, because you're gonna have a big bead here, but on a Model A Coupe, 
on 3031, you're gonna have two, the beads are actually separated here where there's a small bead and a larger bead. 2829, again, totally different, very much squared off type beads. That's why we're not really comparing the two of them. Um, this doesn't have a door handle on it because it's broken, but <laughs> 324 has, a, again, stylized, swoopy, sexy door handle uh, on the outside of these. This is what you saw on most of the body styles. Uh, 32 Ford had this style of door handle for the most part, other than maybe the Roadster. Um, so these, you started to see, uh, again, the door handles were a little different. And the biggest thing when we're looking at a Model A versus a 32 when you're in this area is the way that the door fits. So Model A has a door that actually overlaps the body. So when you open the door, you can actually see on this car how the red paint is brighter right there. So they actually overlap and there's only a door gap in the front. The top, the sides, they all overlap. This thing fits like shit, so don't. Don't worry about it. It's but hot. It, it, this car needs the driver's doors need, need tweaking for a while. I've been shutting it while driving for years. Um, so, anyways, 32 Ford door gap all the way around as you would traditionally see on any type of modern car. So, this was the last year in the 3031 of doing the overlapping doors. All of the cars have this. So, even a Model A Roadster 3031 versus a 32, there, it overlaps on the Model A. 32 is going to have a gap. So. With this, you see a door gap all the way around. Uh, and the on the bottom here, there's actually like a rocker strip that's, that's part of the body line that's underneath of the door where on a Model A, because it over, everything kind of overlaps, they built the body line or what would be the rocker, so to speak. They built that into the door so it flows with the body line in the bottom there. So the doors are completely different. I mean, they're, they're shaped different. The way that the gaps are, all of that is totally different. And obviously just the overall shape of them is gonna be quite a bit different, so. All right, so moving to the back of the car, we're going to talk about some differences again. We're gonna to have to do some pickup shots because these cars are both very modified. So there's a lot, there's some stuff that we're gonna to have to sh talk about. And we'll show you a shot over me talking, so. Um, on the back, when we're talking about the, the back of the roof here, this is a good way that we could tell what we were talking about here. You can see that there's this strip, filler strip, that's actually put in between the different pieces of the roof on a Model A versus a 32, you will see it's a complete one piece finished look uh, to the construction of it. And, um, but in the back, it does, I can see how it gets a little confusing because the shape of the quarter panels are very similar you know, all of this in here, when you get to the deck lid and all of that is very similar. I mean, when you take the deck lid off of a 32 Ford and you put it next to a Model A, they're very similar. The quarters are very similar. A lot of that stuff, if the parts are just laying on the ground or, you know, an auction somewhere in an old farm, they're gonna look very similar. So you have to be able to pick up some of these little details. The beads on a 32 are generally going to be bigger overall. So the side bead, the, the, the bead that runs down um, throughout here is a lot bigger. It's going to be rounder. That's the other thing to remember on everything. More stylized, just think of that. So this bead here on Model A, very flat. It's about very similar width, but it's just very flat. There's no shape to it. On the 32, they started putting, even the body profiles had shape to them, whereas this was just a flat bead. The bead on the side is a lot smaller. And um, then you're gonna get into the gas tank thing, which on the Model A, this is a good example. This car is in the back is very is unmodified, so to speak. So you have this big rear panel, which they both have underneath the, the trunk lid. But a Model A is going to have this structural. You can actually see part of the the substructure, the subframe uh, for the car is actually tied in right here. So this is actually riveted into the subrails that run throughout the car, and then of course the the floors sit in. So this piece is a structural piece, but also it's visible on this vehicle. Or 32-4, they hid any of that structure inside and this panel goes all the way to the bottom and there's no break there like that. Uh, this piece was, because it was structural, it also had holes in it and everything for the rear tire mount, uh, spare tire mount and all of that type of stuff in there. So I think that's why they did it, where 32-4, the frame rails actually stuck out behind the body because it holds the gas tank. And then they use that spreader bar in the back 
and everything there to actually use it for the spare tire mount or any sort of structure they needed back there. Where here they were relying on the sub, uh, the sub rail or this cross member in the back. So that is one quick way. If you see it's smooth like this, you don't see a gas tank uh, back there. If it's a complete car, 32 Ford, you're actually going to see the fame rails come out beyond um, a little bit, and you're going to see the uh, gas tank sticking out. If you're just looking at two bodies sitting next to each other uh, like this, if you see this division here where there is a sub rail, then you know it's Model A. It's 32 Ford, it'll come all the way to the bottom and you won't see any type of sub rail that, that wraps around and goes into the wheel. All right, so we moved over to the green Roadster we have here, 32 Roadster, just because we wanted to show some of the interior. Uh, both of the other cars are very heavily modified. The uh, Schroll Coupe, the five window coupe, does have an original five window dash in it, but it has aftermarket gauges in it that kind of changes the look. So we wanted to hop over here to show you a couple of things in a Roadster. Uh, the Roadster dash is a little different where it bolts up into the body, but this bottom shape here that you see, this, that stylized body line around the bottom there, you, you don't see any of that in a Model A. A Model A does not have any sort of standalone dashboard, I'm gonna call it, uh, because it had the gas tank, and then there was just basically an area that was built into the gas tank where there was a uh, gauge holder, for lack of a better term, or a piece of uh, trim that held the gauges in place. But there wasn't a standalone dashboard that ran side to side on them. But a lot of people, when they started modifying Model A's into hot rods, they would cut the gas tank face out move the gas tank somewhere else and they put a 32 dash in. That's what I've done in my coupe. So if we put the two of them next to each other, it would be a they good example of, yeah, they look the same. So a 32 Ford with a dashboard, it has this surround here uh, with a piece of uh, chrome or stainless trim, has this turned insert and the three gauges in there. So this tunnel, gauge tunnel, even though you can't see it here, the gauge face then has a tunnel that runs all the way back to the firewall and mounts in. So when you take the dashboard out, you could actually leave the tunnel attached to the firewall. So totally different. I mean, when these are so different that there's really no mistaking them. But again, a lot of people were swatching, swapping these parts back and forth. And that's why we wanted to show you in this car um, that, it, you know, the little bit of difference. Also with a 32 Ford and a Model A, in a Model A, you're going to have, you know, the old style four floor switch for your starter. And you're gonna have not an actual like column drop that has any sort of key or knobs or switches where once they got the 32 Fords, they started putting the ignition switch uh, into the steering column with a key that's integrated into the side of it, which basically carried on into, you know, modern cars essentially. And uh, so that's a quick way to tell if you, if you have, they have a column drop, but it was actually on Model A's, but it was actually riveted to the gas tank of all places and hung the steering column. So totally different with that. If you have that switch and key and everything like that, it's gonna be 32 Ford. So if you're looking at a steering box, um, just the swap meet for a 32, you can quickly tell by it having a three bolt flange and you can tell by that column drop if it's on there still very quickly. Uh, you can tell the differences. Now, they did have a foot starter for some of the other models of 32s, 3s, 4s that can muddy the water, so to speak. But the column drop is the part that I wanted to focus on that's a little bit diff very different that you won't see any Model A unless it was modified. Not by a lot. So for research... 13 and 3 quarters. For research purposes, Matt had to get a tape measure. Oh, yeah. So we were talking about this earlier in the video, and then it was... I realized I'd never done this, so I wanted to measure. So the door opening on a 32.5 window is roughly, just eyeballing, 13 and a quarter. Model A coupe is roughly 13 and three quarters, so half an inch difference. That measure center of windshield. So center of windshield is 10 and three eighths. 10 and a quarter. Is that what it's looking like? From back, oh no, three eighths, you're right. Yeah. I'm standing up. So I'm seeing roughly 10 and 3 eighths if we're being. Yeah. This is a little harder to tell because it's got <laughs> a visor. visor, but 11 and I thought it was over 11. 5 eighths. 
so almost an over an inch difference. Yeah. The back windows are drastically different on these cars too. I never really noticed till we yeah till we were next up. So this is roughly ten and a quarter for the Model A. This one's like eight inches. Uh, nine and a nine and an eighth or nine and a quarter. So an inch difference. So basically an inch difference. So 32 Ford was a factory chopped yeah. Ford is what we're going to say. Yeah. So that's why when you chop them, you know. It, oh, garnish molding. Garnish molding is totally different. I mean, that's, it goes along with the door. Uh, on a Model A, it has just like a, on the doors, just has like a little piece that runs along here and you put your hand on it to actually shut the door. Uh, where 32 five window has a trim that goes all the way around the whole entire door. Rear quarter windows, very similar. Rear window, pretty similar other than the shape. But the windshield garnish, totally different. Has a pillar garnish as well in right. here that looks different. And of course, you just chrome them because it, oh, like, it looks awesome. Speaking of stylized, the windshield supports, the arms. Oh yeah, that's a good point. So on 32 Ford, you can see it's very swoopy. Again, I'm using that word a lot. If you're playing a drinking game, you're <laughs> extremely drunk. By where a Model A, same idea where it actually slides open, but it's completely straight. Are you gonna say your word? What is it? Dead flat. Dead flat, it's dead flat. So it's straight, basically here, where 32 Ford, they actually had some, you know, an S shape to it. So all of that stuff, whether it's functional or it's just for looks, I think that was both, uh, is big differences, but you can't really mistake a Model A windshield for a 32 because they are so incredibly different. So, all right, so that's just a quick rundown of some major differences between a 32 Ford Coupe and a Model A 3031 Coupe. Now, like a lot of these videos, we could talk and discuss and argue about differences or different things for days. Uh, I just wanted to go down some of the obvious heavy hitter things that you will notice the difference between. Uh, and there's a lot of other ways, but this is the stuff if you're just seeing a car drive down the road, a couple of these things you can look real quick and you can sound very impressive to the girl that you're taking out to dinner because I'm sure she'll care. You go, that's a 32 Ford, baby. I know that. Thanks to us. That's why you got laid. So that's our video. Thank you guys for following along. If you are a early Ford nerd and you want to drop some knowledge down below, Drop a comment down below of some, some nerdy differences between the two. We'd love to hear them. I learn a lot in the comments, uh, just like everybody else. So thanks guys for following along. Catch you later.